um, roughly, uh, I owe over $150,000. Yeah. Well, for last, last, um, the class of 2014 that graduated last May, there was, and I actually do have that number here, um, there were, where's that chart? 78% um, of the students, 223 students who graduated last May, did graduate with some level of debt. Um, so that, that, and that's the number for last year's class. I think the first time I realized was probably after I had graduated with my master's degree. So it was probably about two years after finishing with my bachelor's. Um, it was when I realized when the loans were going to kick in and what I'd be paying a month. Um, you know, it really didn't seem, I didn't grasp it really, the severity of it until I was told the monthly payment and it was way higher than I um, could afford. So I, I felt like I was drowning. Same thing with scholarship searches. Sometimes scholarship searches outside, private scholarship searches can be um, very time consuming and a little tedious. But, um, you know, every little scholarship you find, whether it's a $250 or a $500 award, it's $500 you don't have to borrow. Statistics show that 76% of students who attend a four-year college receive scholarships, while approximately 40 million college students pay student loans. Typically, loans are lent out for 20, 25 to 30 years. Um, so making sure that, you know, you can make those payments. So at times, yeah, you might want to do the 30 year because it's a less payment. But then making sure you're following up is that as you make more money as an adult, you want to make sure, oh, I can actually throw more at this loan now. So maybe I, I'll throw a little bit more so I'm not extending it a full 30 years. I think that now that I'm married, um, I have you know another income that my husband and I, so we, we put our money together. So we're not that limited. Um, there's a lot of things I would love to do, but I think that I put them on hold or think, oh, once I pay off my loans, like I'd love to um, travel abroad, um, see another country. Um, but I don't think that's gonna really be possible or financially feasible until we um, at least pay off some of my school loans. Seven out of ten seniors, 69%, who graduated from public and nonprofit colleges in 2013 had student loan debt, with an average of $28,400 per borrower. Um, I think it affects every household when you have a substantial amount of debt because that's attached to your name, so every time you try and do something um, it's there. Um, I think it affected my, my sisters um, because I was constantly forcing them to make sure that they're you know, doing things better than what I did, um, making sure that they're not setting themselves up to you know follow my path, that they're a little bit um, better. I think my middle sister, um, she didn't live on campus as long as she wanted to, I think because it, it scared her a lot of what I was going through. Um, but I think it also affected my sisters in a positive way. So, you know, being smarter, applying for scholarships, um, trying to find funding outside of um, just applying for private loans. So I pay about roughly um, $1,200 a month. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I, I qualified for one program where all of my federal loans um, are consolidated together. And after 10 years of paying paying monthly payments, um, the balance will be wiped off. Um, I work at a nonprofit, Cabrini's a nonprofit organization, so I qualified for that. Um, and then, you know, looking at each loan. So another loan that I just consolidated, I'll have that paid off in 15 years. So at least setting a goal to get certain things paid off. Um, I mean, it's kind of terrifying to think, you know, in, 15, 20 years, I'll be in my late 40s still paying my loans. So um, I think it's just important to kind of, you know, make sure you're keeping up with the payments and paying a little extra when you do have some leftover money. My advice is to um, keep searching for outside scholarship um, uh, resources. That's really what makes a difference for a lot of our Cabrini students. Um, I also advise students to not borrow to try to support your lifestyle. If you need to borrow very specifically for your tuition or your room and board and your fees, 
um, or sometimes even for study abroad opportunities. That makes a lot of sense to me, but but borrowing to try to support um, whatever your lifestyle might be, whether it's your apartment or your car, um, I don't think is, is a good idea. 